Hey guys, it's Chris again. So today what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys how to test your disconnect boxes uh, for your split systems or your package units and how to check the voltage at your breaker panel for the equipment that you're going to be working on today. I'm also going to show you the different types of disconnect boxes that are out there and how to test each different one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started right here. Now this disconnect box here is what we would call a non-fusible disconnect box, meaning there are no fuses inside of it as you can see right here. It's just a straight shot into it. So when we're looking for how to test these, we're gonna be checking our voltage. So what you're gonna do is remove this panel right here, and you're gonna see four or six lines here, two ground and four wires. Two of those are common and two of those are hot wires. Now if you look up here, you can see that we have our lines and our loads. Now line always comes from the house. Uh, from the breaker panel and your load is going to be the wires going into the system in this case It's a condenser. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your meter to volts and you're going to go ahead and Put your leads on line across the two just like you would with that contactor from the previous video And you're going to see that we're getting 240 volts coming out of that now because I have this disconnect taken out uh, you're not going to have voltage over here on the load as you can see But if I were to take this disconnect switch and put it back in it will engage the current and allow us to have voltage through it As you can hear the system just kicked on Now if we were to take a look at this Set this right here and put our lead Put our leads to those loads right there, you'll see we come up with 240 volts. So that's how you're going to check voltage on a breaker. It's non-fusible. Now when you deal with a fusible uh, breaker, it's going to look a little bit different. So I've got one right here that's not live. But basically this is what it's going to look like. Again, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to test your volts across your lines and your loads. But then what you're also going to do is you'll pull the disconnect out and while it's out you're going to go ahead and pop these fuses off like so and then you'll take and take your meter and turn it to ohms now once it's on ohms we're going to check the continuity between these fuses so you'll take one lead touch it right here on this end and touch it on the other end And you'll see we have continuity through this fuse. You'll do the same thing with the other one. Now, a lot of times when you're dealing with fuse disconnects and you're going out to a no-cool problem and you don't have any power coming into the system, but you've got power coming from your breaker, uh, it ends up being these fuses. Uh, these do go out. So that's the best way to check those to know if those are running properly or not. Some fusible disconnects will have indicator lights so it'll tell you if it's working or not, but most of them are like the one I've just shown you. So you definitely need to know how to test these fuses to know if they're bad or not. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys over to the breaker panel and I'm gonna show you how Okay, so now we're here at the breaker panel for the system. And so what we're gonna be looking for is our AC breaker, which you can see is right here. It's gonna be this one right here. And we're looking for our furnace, which is sometimes labeled as furnace, FAU, or air handler. That one's going to be right here. So what we're going to do to test this is we're going to go ahead and unscrew this panel and then very carefully remove this panel to expose the wiring on these breakers. Now once you've done that, You'll need to remember where you're testing. So again, our AC breaker is this one right here and our furnace one is gonna be this one right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test our voltage across the two. So we're gonna put one lead right here and one lead right here. And as you can see, we're getting 240 volts. Now this is directly tied to the line side of that disconnect over there by the unit. Now to test the furnace, since the furnace is operating on 120 volts, you're going to take your lead and put touch it right here and then put it to ground. In this case, you can stick it to any one of the ground bars. And you see you get 120 there. So that's how we know 
that we're getting proper voltage to our air handler that's in the attic. And that's how you test everything, guys. Pretty simple and straightforward. Have a good one.